Today, we talk about... Transmetal 2 Dinobot. All right. Uh, not a huge fan of Transmetals 2 Dinobot. Just looked way too mechanical. Not enough Raptor. It was a bad guy again. Yeah, just looked a little off. But, you know, overall, still an awesome character for the show. Special Operations Combatant. An eerie and amoral regeneration of the former Maximal Hero. Dinobot was synthetically reanimated online as a vicious combat expert. Silent and utterly depraved, Dinobot wields his deadly warrior skills at Megatron's beck and call. A skeletal hybrid of organic and Cybertronian life, he slices through any substance with transmetalized talons. Moves at lightning speed with reptilian cunning. That's not a full sentence, but, uh... I'll let it slip, because, like I always say, it is what it is. This ruthless clone paralyzes his prey by channeling Rampage's noxious spark energy, which now fuels his existence. Yeah, it was kind of cool, too, that he had half a spark from Rampage. <laughs> it's kind of cool, too, on the boxes, they start to incorporate the transmetal into that little eye thingy. Not bad. Whoa. Again with the, ugh. Wow, that's some pretty shiny uh, purple magenta or whatever. That's, I like that. I like that. I like that. So off the bat, to just have these toys is simply OD. It's simply incredible. The fact that someone was able to engineer this and design this and create an animal that turns into a robot and was featured in a TV show. It's just <laughs> incredible. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get this guy transformed. That's cool. So he has an attack mode where you press the lever and his tail swings around. It's like a shrimp. It's like I could eat this with some marinara sauce, you know, just like. That's it? I mean, yeah, it's from a pure form. It looks fairly accurate to the show, but yeah, I guess I was expecting more from Dinobot. Definitely liked the original toy a lot better. Seemed a little bit more involved from a toy perspective, but this comes across more of like a collector's item than, than something for a kid to play with, I would say. But hey, I'm not complaining. I'm glad to have them. Definitely an obligatory part of the collection. But yeah, there you go. Transmetals 2 Dinobot. And with that, I'll uh, see you next time. We out.